a lot of us are excited to use the new Rust-based Cosmic Desktop that's being developed by System76 for Pop! OS, including other Linux distributions. If you haven't followed along, I have many videos showing the work in progress and how things have been updating over the last few months. There have been many posts over the last few months about this new desktop environment and what's coming in previews. But the biggest question that most people have is when is it going to get released? Today, I'm going to spend some time and try to answer that question for you, as well as show you how you can kind of follow the timeline of developments. That way you can stay up to date, including seeing the latest and greatest in development on Pop! OS, the cosmic desktop environment. Let's talk about the first and probably most important place to view whenever trying to understand where the desktop environment currently sits, and that's the Pop! Epic 1. This is a wonderful page to visit if you want to see where the Cosmic desktop environment currently is in its developmental stages. So it has a few sections here, as we can see, including a backlog, an alpha bugs to do, alpha 1 features to do, alpha 1 in progress, alpha 1 complete, and an alpha 2. Basically, what these items are is what features need to still be worked on. So if we look at alpha 1 in progress and alpha 1 features to do, so we can see task list items that they need to accomplish before they can release alpha one. That's all this means. So for example, here we have, they need to create a launcher help design, tiling applet and shortcut helper design, ice overlays for lib cosmic settings, display leverage, W displays settings, appearance, and much more. So once these items are starting to get worked on, they actually get moved from one bucket to another bucket. So then we move on to alpha one in progress. This means they're currently working on this. So we've seen some updates in the tiling design. I've previewed that before on Pop! OS and showed you how that looks. So there's many things in progress right now, including the new design implementation, notifications daemon, applets notifications, workspaces design implementation, and many, many more. Once we get into this stage, this means we remain in this stage until we are finished. And we can finally say that that item or task is now in alpha one complete, meaning it's ready for an alpha one release. And that way people can test it in the alpha phase. So what we would expect to get our first alpha release, we would need to get everything done in the to do and in the in progress, which you can see that the team has completed quite a few items in the alpha one so far, but they have many more that need to be done. So with that being said, what does a timeline kind of look like? Well, there's still alpha bugs as they're testing in alpha, they are running into bugs. So they have to go back and fix those bugs as well, but you aren't necessarily interested in this. Instead, you're interested in a timeline. Well, first, let me give you two sources to follow. First off, if you want to see the latest and greatest updates, they post a monthly blog on system 76. They skipped last month, but I assume that's just because there wasn't much progress. I'll post a link in the description below so you can check out this blog and follow along yourself. I do try to make videos as soon as a new blog post comes on. I go find the sources, install them on my own Pop! OS desktop, and then I try them out as best as I can since they're in pre-alpha to show you what the updates look like. The other place to see how development is going is the official GitHub repo. You can see what's currently being worked on, what's at the top, what's at the bottom of the current workload, where they're contributing the most code. So I'll also put a link in the description below so you can see this, especially for those of you who are interested in individual developments of specific components. This is a great place to actually go, look at the source code, compile it, and actually test it on your system, even if it's not quite released as a developmental package to test with. That's actually how I approach most of the new dev is building it from scratch and testing it out on my Pop! OS system. I do have a video on how to actually set up the Cosmic desktop environment as it currently stands by installing packages and using them through a Wayland session on Pop! OS. Check that out if you want. It'll be in the description. And now to answer the biggest question of all. When does System76 plan on releasing the Cosmic Rust desktop? Well, I spoke to some members of the System76 team to try and get an idea of that date. Of course, it's dependent on the next few months and how development goes. 
and System76 does not want to rush development. Instead, they want to bring a high quality desktop environment, which you would expect from System76. And I'm happy to say the showcase target date, at least to have something that we can really test and interact with is for the Pop! OS 24.04 release. That means in April of 2024, we can hopefully expect to see a showcase of the Rust Cosmic desktop available to us. Let me know if you're excited to test it out in the comments section below. Love to hear from you. I'm super excited for this. I've been testing it out for many months now, and I can say that it is, it is one of the most exciting developments in the Linux desktop space in what I would say the last decade. They're highly focused on making this a great desktop environment for with users in mind. The team over there at System76 is super in tune with, with what people want, and they're not shy to use feedback from their users to develop amazing systems. Keep up the great work, System76. You have a huge community waiting and supporting your work. Let's get excited for this new desktop environment. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.